Okay, so I wanted to get the uh, 25 auto pistol out and talk about it a little bit. Right now you're looking at a box that you would use to reorder checks. I inherited this pistol from my uncle, and this is the way it came. To me, it gives the gun some character. It's the way I had it. So this is the way it sits in the safe. Looks kind of goofy, I guess, but to me it adds a little bit of character to the gun. So I'm going to get it out here and see what we got. Comes in a nice little holster here and he had a paper bag over the end. I assume that's to keep the thing nice and clean. He's pretty particular about keeping things nice and clean. So here's the firearm itself. Set all this out of the way so it's not too distracting. So here's the firearm itself. It's a uh, very unusual pistol. I'm not used to uh, European mouse guns. Oddly enough, I have two of them, and um, I plan on doing a video about both. There's a magazine release right here at the bottom on the rear of the grip, and this is this is actually all part of the magazine. It extends your extends your grip. Oddly enough, you push that up a little bit, pinches your finger a little bit. I don't I don't like that design. I'm not crazy about it. I guess that's why they don't. Really manufacture pistols like this anymore so let's pull the magazine out we'll make sure that it is unloaded which it is all right i had several main uh, malfunctions with this the last time i took it to the range so there's your thumb safety there on the side so i wanted to take it apart and take a look at it and see if there was something going on, on the inside or what so what i shot I started with a box of herders. I'm not familiar with this brand of ammo. I don't know if I bought this at some point. I don't remember if I bought this or if it came with the gun when I got it. It says made in the Czech Republic right there below the barcode scan. Um, I actually Googled it. It's apparently an economical alternative made by Cellier and Below. So, if that's proper pronunciation, I'm not sure. I wasn't very pleased. It actually, the firing pin struck the primer, but it only fired about every other round that I put through it. So, after that, I didn't have much success. So, I pulled off the trusty old Remingtons, UMC, center fire cartridges. Just your standard. Remington. I've actually got a few here that I fired. You can see it struck the primer, but the round didn't go off. So, and it actually looks like, yeah, so these two I saved right here were herders. I don't think the camera's going to focus maybe a little bit. There's the herders, and these up here should be the Remingtons. Just a couple of them that I had picked up off the ground that I found. Remington showed a little bit of improvement, but I still had maybe one in four that I fired or attempted to fire. It struck the primer and the round didn't go off. So I'm going to break the gun down here and make sure that everything is okay. I've only fired this thing a couple times. As a matter of fact, that this past go around might have been only my second time firing the weapon uh, so I'm gonna break it down here and take a look at it uh, some unique features here of course you've got your thumb safety there on the side you've also got a loaded chamber indicator right here which actually doesn't indicate a loaded chamber because it's not loaded it just indicates that the weapon has been actioned and it's ready to shoot so when you pull the trigger a little piece moves forward and it's connected to the firing pin so let's break it down here and see what's going on the first step to do this a little button on the back I'll clear the weapon you push you push this button and this assembly in the rear pops out it's spring loaded and then like a lot of european pistols you pull back and you get the slide at just the right area and it pops up. 
easy to get. There's our internal components. Thing just kind of falls out there. There's a spring. The barrel. I'm also going to clean this weapon since I fired it. And your internals there inside the slide. If there's your firing pin, the spring, there's your indicator, you just pull that out. So it appears that the spring has a little bit of a kink in it. I don't know how easy it would be to replace this part either. I don't know if maybe the tension on the spring wasn't great enough. So there's your firing pin. It's got a little hollowed indention for the spring to sit in. So this is assembly together. Yeah, that spring obviously has a kink in it a little bit, which may compromise the strength of the spring. I would hate to see how hard it would be to find a replacement spring for this thing. This, as I said before, this gun was an inheritance, so it's not likely I would keep it around to trade or to sell. Uh, I will make an attempt to find that replacement piece. I guess if the spring doesn't apply enough pressure, then when the firing pin strikes the primer, it's probably not going to go off. Not reliably, anyway. This isn't a carry weapon by any means. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna bet my life on this gun. But it's a neat little thing to have in the safe. So in the future, I do plan on posting a couple of videos about my mouse guns. I have this one. I have another one I inherited from my grandfather when he passed away. So I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, and I'll show you a reassembly real quick. Just while I've got it apart right here, but I will get this thing cleaned up and oiled down a little bit and I'll try a uh, I may try a third type of ammo just before I call it quits usually a newer Remington I don't uh, I don't have a lot of issues out of that at least with 380 9 millimeter so quite disappointed in the performance last time I had it out so to get this thing back together your springs gonna go in now you've got this flat head looks like a nail head or something that's gonna go in first in this way there's a hole inside there under the barrel I doubt in this lighting position that you can see it but it's straight under there there's a little indention that or a hole rather that it sits in. So I'll place that in there. Firing pin back on the spring. There's a notch right there at the bottom side of the firing pin. It goes back in there and seats inside the slide just like that. Not 100%, I'm not an expert on these. I'm not sure what this piece is called, but it fits inside this hole right here. Spring fell out, let's put it back in. And we will put the slide back over the barrel and the spring. Put it back together just the way she came. Fits over the back. There's a piece there. Press your assembly back into place. You'll see the button depress as you do it. Do a quick functions check on safe. Rack the slide. You hear the cl you can feel a click. Well, go ahead and press. You can feel a click when it engages the fire firing pin there, and you can see it. See the little pointy thing stick out of that hole. Right, so should be good to go now. I'm quite disappointed. I did consider at one point carrying this, so I'm glad I took it out to the range and discovered some issues before I did consider that. I have not researched 
the year that this one manufactured. Not much to the sights there, as you can see. You're not gonna be trying to shoot a rabbit or anything with this thing. They call it a vest pistol for a reason. It's just a quick conceal, last ditch, self-defense. At least that's what it was designed for, I guess. So.